long for that feeling Why did it have to go away? I long for that feeling Remember everything you said Had to go on dreaming Dreaming Cause baby you are everywhere I wish that you were here Cause I don't want nobody else I'm not afraid to be alone, new beginnings I'm not afraid to overcome every feeling that I have So take me in your arms there's nothing like chilling with my girls just me and my divas taking over the world What's up, deep buzz? What's up, deep buzz? What's up, everybody? Happy New Year. I'm ready to do this wig video. Like, I hope you guys are all having like a really good day. Actually, this is the second video for me to do today and the second video that I've done in, no, excuse me, the third video that I've done in the new year because I did do a video for me just sitting and chit-chatting and recapping and talking about the makeup that I did receive from She Glam, which is their new makeup collection called Glitch. And yeah, girl, it was a whole glitch. With that being said, listen, I have worked with this company already about probably like one handful of times. So I've, I've already been forewarned I've, I've used their bundle hair like made a wig out of like their bundle hair I think like twice and I've even had the liberty of you know reviewing their wigs so when I when I rate Allie Grace hair like amongst other wigs websites that I have dealt with I say they're like in a medium average threshold like this is not something that you know what I'm saying you're going to see on a celebrity because this is not one of those high priced wigs but if you are on a budget or you just like to collect wigs, you'd like to add more to your collection, then this is a reasonably priced website. Like, girl, I don't really feel like you should pay thousands of dollars for wigs. 
But if you know how to melt, slay, pre-pluck, do all of that good stuff, then you should be in luck, honey, okay? But I did go ahead and I did bleach her, and then I did pre-pluck her. So for the most part, I'm hoping that, like, look, I pre-plucked her enough. Like, listen, let me tell you about the, the bleaching. I actually forgot that I had bleached her, and I was sitting there minding my business, okay? And I was editing a video, and that's when I was like, oh, my God, I forgot the bleach was on the hair. Hopefully the wig, the hair didn't fall out. This is this is what I was thinking, because it had been like an hour and a half. Girl, this thing held up, and it still got like some little bit of speckling in it. But we're just going to work with what we got, and we're going to take it from there. Gonna, look, this is going to work out, because I'm just, I have all of this faith that 2023 is going to be a good one. So this is going to work out, okay? All right, all right, you guys. So now we're about to do it like it's our B-Day. You know what I already say. So as you guys can tell, the wig is transparent lace. That means that, you know, transparent lace is not invisible. It's not see-through. It's not unnoticeable, girl. It's just a lace that will kind of almost complement any skin tone, girl. But for me, I'm going to try to make this a little bit more closer to my own skin tone. So I'm going to take some of my pressed powder here, and I'm going to rub -a dub dub it all in the inside of the cap and hopefully it'll give me a little bit more color. So it did give me a little bit more of a lightish brown, which definitely will work for me. But like I said, it's a transparent lace, so it's not invisible, it's not see-through, it's not Swiss, it's not undetectable, it's not I can't see it slap your mama lace. It's just a lace color that will definitely complement most skin tones. So as you see, the wig is a little bit big. It's over my ear, and that's the norm with mostly average stock wigs. So what you wanna do, boo is take your comb and part it right above your ear where your ear lobe is at like I did and just cut off that excess lace pull that ear lobe through girl and you good to go and repeat that step on the opposite side girl okay now you see I have two of my little sideburn pieces Girl, save those. You can have you some baby hair, some lace baby hairs, which is available for sale on the internet, honey. Now, I'm just going to remove all the lace off the sides by trimming away with it at my scissors. Now, remember what I told y'all about when you apply your wig? I like to use hairspray. I don't care what you use. You can use whatever you want. That's up to you. But I like to use hairspray because I'm not about to sleep in this wig all day. I like to use Aussie Instant Freeze, but it's up to you what you like. You don't have to go out and buy nothing that I use. Just use what's good for you. Now, as you see right here, I do have a little caption up for you guys. This is the first layer. And what I would highly advise prior to, sl to spraying the next layer, make sure that the first layer is tacky prior to spraying the next layer on. Now, like I said, I love the Aussie Instant Freeze. It freezes quickly. It holds. It's great for hairstyles. It's great for putting your wig down. You don't got to take it from me, but y'all know I've been using this hairspray forever, okay? And it's super affordable. So this is the second layer. I only put two layers on. And most of the time, I can just spray a layer or two on, let it get tacky, and voila, my wig will stick. But because this is transparent and the lace is a little bit thicker, baby, we're going to have to do some of that black girl magic honey okay or that slayage magic or that melt magic whatever you want to call that shit we about to do it okay so here's what I had to do I had to take out my handy dandy blow dryer and press into the lace I told y'all before each lace for every wig is different okay it's all different it's you cannot treat every lace the same and unfortunately, that's just the case. So you will learn this with trial and error, because trust me, girl, I have. So because this lace is thicker, I gotta take this one with baby steps. I gotta apply this minimal, little by little, press and stick, press and stick, press, hold down the heat and stick, press, spray and stick, repeat. That's how I gotta do this one. And as you guys can see, this is gonna take a little bit longer than most wigs. But when I tell you that it's a nice unit and it's worth it if you have the patience and you know how to pre-pluck, slay, melt, and do it like it's your B-Day, baby, then you could definitely get this wig from Allie Grace Hair Girl. It had to go away. I long for that feeling. 
Now y'all know I like some sideburn hairs. I really feel like if I don't have no sideburn hairs, I feel like a cone head, okay? I already know I already got a long head and, and that's just what it is. But I also really do feel like a cone head, some type of egg head if I don't have any sideburns. You know, sideburns make the hair the style you don't have to do no baby hairs however it depends on the unit you're wearing now I just like to use my Mark Anthony's you know curl enhancer styling foam this is supposed to be for curly hairs but I find that it looks really well it works really really well girl with melting any damn lace you know what I mean it don't make it crunchy it don't make it sticky it just blends and surprisingly it doesn't lift my wigs up however I think it really depends on the products that you use I have noticed like got to be doesn't really work well with other participants of mousse you know so girl listen I stick to what I know and for me Aussie insta freeze will do it every single time now just to give a little volume I'm just going to spray a little bit and blow dry and then you know it is what it is but for the most part the unit is cute it's affordable honeys it's 180% density it's 20 inches this is the new 20 which is great because I remember the 20 inches back in the day and they didn't fall this long but you know it is what it is and for the most part like I said work it baby and try to get those edges laid so that way you don't have to put a lot of baby hairs but you know I like sparse baby hairs you already know I'm sparse when it comes to baby hairs okay uh, to each his own you gotta do what you gotta do girl but for me I like them sparse and that's about it I'll see y'all in the comments down below let me know what y'all think and make sure you stay to the end so you can see how I paired this wig with one of my outfits and yes happy dance happy dance Hey guys, so this is, I'm done, this was it. Um, it did take me a little bit longer than normal because of the lace, so, you know, like I say in like all my videos, when it comes to tutorials, not all my videos, but enough of my videos, when it's different lace, you gotta just treat it different, honey. Everything is not the same, you know, just like, you know, you just gotta treat each thing. Different lace, different treatments. I did take a little bit of hairspray at a time and have to melt it, and I also had to bring out my blow dryer. But for the most part, you know, it's affordable hair, so you have to know that when it is affordable, you do have to do certain things to it it's definitely worth the price tag you know what i'm saying the lace melted decently you know it wasn't too bad look at that look at the size like girl look if it wasn't the best lace and i would not have put it to the side you know i really tried to avoid any type of baby hair so you know it just depends on how you melt it so i will leave all the info down below i think i left the clips in this hair for like three days and the curls held up pretty decent this one i could have recurled over when i was doing it but it's all good it's all good guys i hope you enjoyed this video and i will see you in the next one